In 2012, Princecraft released the all-new Expedition series, and a year later, it's back, and it's bigger and better than ever. For 2013, Princecraft has added three extra feet to their popular entry to make the Expedition 200, giving you plenty more to work with, both inside and out on this boat. The 200 is available in a side console, as well as a full windshield like the model I tested. The 200 comes pre-wired for a trolling motor. The beam is carried well forward on the 200, giving you a spacious bow casting deck, complete with seat bays. On the port side is a storage bin with a handy spot for the bow light, along with an excellent 17-gallon live well. On the starboard side is mirrored storage. Like I said, there's lots of it in this boat. The Expedition 200 shares the same beam as its smaller brethren, but it's the added length that really expands on this boat. A pair of fishing chairs is standard on the 200, which can be moved throughout the boat to customize your fishing setup. The helm is clean and uncomplicated, and features separate gauges in a hooded dash, tilt steering, along with toggle switches and corresponding fuses. Fishing options like the Lowrance X4 Pro are factory installed. The Jensen stereo head unit is conveniently placed in the walkway to the bow. Also in the walkway is the locking 10-rod storage. 10-rod storage means this boat is great for casual fishermen and weekend warriors alike. Boaters now want the most out of their boat, and the 200 Expedition would make a great cottage boat as well. The large casting pad is great for fishing, but it also makes an easy boarding spot. Port side, you have a folding jump seat along with gunnel rod storage, but it can also hold anything else. In the center is more hinge storage that stays open on a convenient spring. Behind the seats is another live well, only this one is 20 gallons and is dividable. There is top loading gunnel storage on the starboard side, great for fenders and safety gear. The jump seats on this boat are comfortable and feature grab handles, which you will need if you opt for the optional Verado 225 like I had on this test model. The addition of 3 feet on the Expedition 200 means it can handle up to 250 horsepower, and believe me, it can. The ride was soft, quiet, and dry, which is a trademark of all Princecraft hulls. This boat gets on plane in 2 seconds and hit 30 miles per hour in 4. It even tops out at over 56 miles per hour at 6400 RPM. Realistically, this boat would be best paired with a 150, either a 4-stroke or an Optimax, but Princecraft wanted to show how well this boat handles bigger horsepower, and trust me, it does. If you get the Verado, you're getting smooth and quiet outboard with power for days, and it would make an awesome tournament fish boat. Bigger isn't always better, but in the case of the Expedition 200, it's certainly an added bonus.